Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. Now this week's Fool is Tory MP Paul Bristow. He appeared on Times Radio on Thursday. Paul said, and I quote, You should be proud of the key thing you do. This was in reference to lobbyists. What is a lobbyist? Well, they're basically a go-between when it comes to businesses trying to influence politicians. It's very lucrative at the moment and there's very little sign that it's going to go away. Let's hear what Paul had to say and keep in mind the corruption scandal of this week. So you come from a place of um, not necessarily thinking it was a bad thing, but you just don't think that the the lobbyist, the, the lobbyer and the lobbyee should be the same person? Absolutely not. And I, I made that absolutely clear when I was chairman of the APPC. I used to remember doing doing training on the APPC code of conduct. I'd stand in front of a room uh, full of people who were just joining the industry. And I said, look, you should be very proud of yourselves because what you're doing is a a key thing in democracy. You know, <laughs> A key thing in democracy. So he's referring to when he was uh, working with the an organization for lobbyists. Once again, a lobbyist is somebody who operates as a go-between between businesses generally and politicians. So businesses want a law changed. What they do is they speak to a lobbyist, perhaps they give them some money, and those lobbyists influence politicians. Now, generally, lobbyists are ex-politicians, but they still have influence within the party. Now, this is legal. This may sound like corruption, but it's perfectly legal. But it undermines democracy. If you've got a legal problem, you go to a lawyer. If you've got a financial, um, uh, you need financial advice, you go to an accountant. And if you've got a legislative um, problem, then you should go to a lobbyist. I no, you should go to your local MP. If you have a problem with a particular law, you should speak to your MP about it and say, look, I am a voter. You should do something about this law. You should not go to a lobbyist. You should go to your... Because the lobbyist does not represent you. Your MP does. Just think about this. He said, yes, if you have a legal problem, you go to a lawyer. If you have um, a legislative problem, you go to a lobbyist. No, you go to your MP. You go to the political party if you want. You say, I'm a voter. You need my vote. You should listen to me. You could organize a group of people to put pressure on the local MP. You could organize a group of people to put pressure on the cons on the Conservative Party, if that's the case, or the Labour Party, if that's the case. But we should not have lobbyists. These are people paid to influence politics. They should not exist. They're, they're the middleman between the voter and uh, the the constituent representative, the MP, and they should not exist. And I think that's absolutely right. You should be proud of, lobbyists should be proud of the key thing that they do in our democratic process. <laughs> they should be proud. They're not elected. You don't choose your lobbyists, but they have more influence over the politician than you do. You should have influence over the politician, not the lobbyist. It's insane. What is the point in having a democracy if votes don't count? And in the sense don't count, they don't have any power. I've said this before. A business has a huge amount of money. They hand it to a lobbyist and that lobbyist speaks to the politician and says, you should actually introduce this new law or you should stop the introduction of this other law. Because Why? Well, because, you know, uh, I've been paid a lot of money to tell you what to do. I, I can channel this money to you, to your party, in order to influence politics. This is anti-democratic. Once again, lobbyists are not accountable to anyone. But I just don't think you can be a lobbyist and a legislator at the same time. So his problem is being a lobbyist and being a member of parliament at the same time. That's the problem. Uh, they should be separate. No, the lobbyists should not exist. Where, wherever they exist, they're a problem. This is why he's full of the week, because he thinks lobbyists are a good thing and he thinks they should exist. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.